be fun to recreate the look that I did for Halloween last year because I can't really wait until October to play with all this stuff. Um, there's a thousand tutorials on YouTube for fake wounds and rotting flesh and that's basically where I got like all my tips from. So I'm just going to kind of talk through a little bit and then I'll speed up the video just because I thought it would be fun to film. So I'll just start with some, and I'll have all the products down below that I use, along with um, links to the videos where I kind of learned how to do this. So I'm just going to take some liquid latex. This is from Mayron. Um, and I put it onto a cosmetic sponge. And you really just like plaster that on your face where um, you want your wound to be. Ah, that's so much! I made a mess. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Oh, Lord. It's gonna do a little over my lip, too. We're just... I am really just winging this. Oh, it burns my eyes. Okay, so basic, and then I'm going to take some cotton balls, just, basically, oh, it tastes so bad. Oh, it's in my mouth. Oh. Okay, basically the idea is to layer to get the most texture, so you have liquid latex, then a layer of cotton balls, then more liquid latex, and then, well, you'll see, I'll show you, but I'm going to take and just pull apart a cotton ball. Oh god, it's in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Alright. And before this dries, I want to get as much on there as possible. And I kind of just pull it around with my tweezers. Just going to try to get as much on there before it dries. Oh my god. Ugh. This is going to be real fun. So this is definitely not going to be a talk through all the way because my mouth looks like it's going to be glued shut. <laughs> Ugh, it's all over my fingers. And this stuff dries pretty fast, so ah! I'm going to have to get that. Probably going to have to work in like sections start with that. Just gonna pull apart and spread it out. My mirror's over here, so. I mean, I could just, no, I can't really see in the viewfinder. The more texture you have, the more realistic it looks, like your flesh is falling off. Super romantic. You guys like my flower crown? I bloodied it myself with some nail polish. Tried to use the fake blood on the fabric of the flowers, but it all just kind of melted together and just kind of dyed the flowers. Okay, so then I'm going to take more of the liquid latex and pop that over top. Ugh. You can see like the texture of it. All right, you know what? I'm just going to pour this. Oh, 
Did it again. Okay. I'm just gonna take my tweezers while it's still wet and just pull at some of the cotton and like spread it around and make it really really gross. This is a really good tutorial to make it look like um, burned skin as well, like if you wanted to do Deadpool for Halloween, that would be really awesome. Oh god, it would take so long to to do though. You can buy pieces these days, like wounds, and all you have to do is kind of use the liquid latex to glue it onto your face, but... I feel like this is more fun. All right, it's getting like really dry, so it's getting hard to pull. But I really want it to look like it's falling off my face. Okay. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm going to just buff a little bit of foundation over top of it once it's dry and then I'll come back and blend a bunch of different red tones and brown tones and a little bit of purple to make it look real bruised um, and then I'll go in with the fake blood over top and then you'll be able to see like the finish so I'll be back in a second when this and the foundation is dry. 